Hi, everyone. I'm Alex Nottingham. Success can be anything. Money, health, relationships, life. But challenges will come our way, for sure. Guaranteed. What do we do about it? Is it a problem or an opportunity? How bad do you want it? What are you willing to do to achieve your goals? How far are you willing to go? Napoleon Hill, author of Think and Grow Rich, sets up the perfect hypothetical, and it goes like this. A long while ago, a great warrior had to make a decision which ensured his success on the battlefield. He was about to send his armies against a powerful foe whose men outnumbered his own. He loaded his soldiers and boats, sailed to the enemy's country, unloaded the soldiers and equipment, then gave the order to burn the ships that carried them. Addressing his men before the battle, he said, you see those boats going up in smoke? That means that we cannot leave these shores alive unless we win. We now have no choice. We win or we perish. They won. Every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to burn his ships and cut all sources of retreat off. This creates a burning desire to win, to succeed. It's the essence of success. Let's look at the elements of the story. You have the warrior. That's you. Do you know your abilities? Can you realize the power within you? You are the captain of your own hero's journey. Then you have the ships, the safety net. What's holding you back? What do you fear you will lose by not getting rid of your ships, burning your ships? And then you have the adversary, the powerful foe. This is your obstacle. What stands in your way to achieve your goal? And be specific about that. And then you have to make a decision. Will you burn your ships? Will you cut off all retreat in the pursuit of your goal or objective? We got to look at the sources of retreat. This is a big one in the story. We may worry about what others think. I love this quote. I believe it was Brian Tracy who said, be independent of the good opinion of others. Good opinion. And you see, of course, we, we don't want to hear the bad opinion, but even the good opinion, the good or the bad, we are now a slave, if you will. We are now connected to do we get positive reviews or feedback? You can see on social media, do I get enough likes? Do I feel good about myself? I did a whole podcast and discussion about extrinsic versus intrinsic motivation. So be independent of the good or bad opinion of others, any opinion of anybody else, be independent about that. We may fear failure. What is failure? Does failure really exist? Your perception is reality. So just change your perception. Failure is in your mind. Failure is a judgment call on where you are and where you want to be. You have to be all in in whatever you're looking to do. You can't just dabble a little bit here, a little bit there. Remember, consistency over intensity. When you want something, commit fully and see it through. Napoleon Hill mapped out success by interviewing hundreds of successful people to develop the formula of success nearly 100 years ago. We must cut off all retreat. We must maintain a burning desire to achieve our heart's desires. We have to root out the fears by changing our perception to one of fearlessness. Whatever our mind can conceive, we can achieve. Thanks for joining me. And remember to like, subscribe, follow, and share with your friends. And until next time, go out there and be an all-star.